Hi, I'm Ruth Molman from the Farmington Hills Historic District Commission. I am in a William Kessler house that is one of the new districts in our Farmington Hills Historic Districts. And the house is very special because it's less than 50 years old, but according to the Secretary of Interior Standards, if the bu building was built by an outstanding architect, which it was in this case, William Kessler, uh, it can be listed as an historic building. You know, we have the combination of modern being now being considered in historic style, which is, of course, the outgrowth of the international style, which is the outgrowth of the arts and craft movement of the turn of the century. Uh, this house was built when William Kessler started his own firm of Meath and Kessler and uh, developed first one house for the Beckwith family and then the second house, this house, which has his uh, sawtooth design for which he is known from, uh, for throughout the state of Michigan. Uh, Mr. Kessler has 131 awards for his outstanding architecture and uh, he is listed in every book relating to outstanding architecture in Michigan from the uh, early Hawkins W. Ferry book of the 1950s, late 1950s, 1960s, to the recent Catherine Eckhart buildings of Michigan. They are notable in their design and uh, the, we will we'll shortly discuss the uh, cubicles or the uh, A-frame trestles that this house was built about. Dr. Frisch and Mrs. Frisch will uh, show us through their lovely home, which is a historic part of our district and, and a real gem for Farmington Hills. We're here in the entrance to the uh, William Kessler House with the Dr. and Mrs. Frisch, and uh, we're going to get a tour of this lovely William Kessler House, which is known for, this is, this is the modern that went into the sawtooth special signature design of Mr. Kessler's. Now, can you tell me about uh, how this house is put together? Well, the house was built in 1959 when a, there was a style that was becoming very popular all over the world, which was the international style. Uh, Mr. Kessler, who was the architect, had trained with a man named Gropius. Gropius was the head of the Bauhaus in Germany, which uh, was the focal point for the development of the international style all over the Western world. Kessler left Gropius's um, studio at Harvard, came to Detroit, and came to work with Yamasaki, who is the famous Japanese architect who subsequently built a number of buildings in Detroit, um, which were architecturally very famous, and went on to build the, the late World Trade World Center, Trade Center yeah. uh, buildings, uh, for which he became uh, very famous. The house is a, an unusual style in that it is of six identical structural modules, uh, each one 28 feet wa uh, long and 15 feet wide. Each module uh, serves a purpose of a separate group of rooms. The first module uh, at the end of the house is the dining room. The second module is the kitchen and service rooms and a, with a co coat room and a bathroom. The third module containing the large fireplace is the living room. And then we go to the three modules at the end of the house, which include the bedrooms and the library and the guest room and the bulk of the bathrooms. Um, the house is built on a pedestal, 
uh, and the edges of the house are cantilevered over the pedestal. Uh, I'd like to show you the first module, which is the dining room area. This is your living room, dining room area. Right, and we, uh, we use part of it as a, uh, with a seating arrangement and part of it for the large dining room table. Uh, this, this room has a skylight in it. It's very light, and as you can see, it's predominantly of glass. This house, probably 40 or 50 percent of the walls are glass, so it's a very light and airy house. Uh, be, ha having been built in 1959, uh, to our great surprise, we found that the glazing is single pane glazing. Uh, double pane glazing had really not been established in the building industry in 1959. So we are the beneficiaries of the largest heating bills in America. <laughs> it gets um, a little cool in the wintertime, but it's, it's manageable. Um, the paneling is the original paneling, which is walnut paneling on one wall. Uh, the furniture that you'll see in this room is uh, also modern furniture from the 50s era. My wife and I built some of the furniture here. Uh, it's now, we built it 30 years ago, knowing intuitively that we would move into this house and the furniture fits very well into this house. Um, you did the, uh, the mobile the too. The mobile, yeah, Mary uh, did that and several others that are hanging in the house we were, after the style of Calder. <laughs> we were aware that most of the famous houses had Calder mobiles in it. We couldn't afford an original Calder, so we took his ideas and constructed uh, our own mobiles. There are three of them in the house, the largest one over here, which um, with the circulation of air is always in motion and gives a sense of mobility to, and lightness to the entire room. I want to add that we, uh, my husband had built these long ago before we ever moved into this house, but mm -hmm. we could never hang them because we never had a ceiling that was high enough for them. So that's another advantage of, of living in this house. Perhaps we bought the house just so we can hang the mo <laughs> mobiles. I love the look from this room all the way out to the garden. You could stand here and look through, and uh, it must be fun to have a dinner party here with it us. Is, it is, and particularly even the summertime and late spring, of course, is, is very beautiful. But uh, in the winter time, with the snow, every season, it's uh, beautiful. It really is attractive. Let's take a look at the kitchen area. This is the kitchen area, and this is all original. The, these are the original refrigerators here, which are 43 years old now, and they're still working, amazingly enough. Uh, we don't even have to put ice in them. <laughs> uh, the cabinetry is all walnut and maple, and that, too, is original cabinetry that's also survived that length of time. Um, as you can see, see, there's skylights here too. There are a total of five skylights in the area, uh, uh, in, the, in the entire house. I'd like to call your attention to the Y form in the center of the kitchen, which is made of stainless steel, which is repeated in the walls and the windows and throughout the house, every module of the house emphasizes this Y-shaped stru structuring of the, uh, of the, of the architecture. Um, the Y uh, is extended to a peak of, in the roof and flat areas, so the roof has a, a sort of toothed line of flat areas, uh, peak, flat area, peak repeated throughout the house. Um, you have a view here of your lovely, lovely garden, too. 
which is, it, it almost seems like the inside is outside. It mm -hmm. just we, we hope to, to we, we, that was a deliberate attempt on our part because we use the decks during the summer and even in, in winter. We're, we're, we're very much outdoorsy people and we like the, the confluence. Sense of, the, the sense of continuity between and the outside and the inside. So flowers will appear on the deck and then they'll be brought in in the winter and with, when the weather gets a little warmer we bring them out again and the, the deck joins the garden which joins the ponds which join the woods. So there's a great deal of continuity in the, in, in the living of this house and in the forms associated with this house. Well, we can go on to your, I guess, family that's room. The, that's the living room. That's oh, the, the living room. Oh, it's a beautiful fireplace. That's the original also. That's the original fireplace and the wall is uh, Labradorite. It's a, it's a granite, but the iridescent flecks um, belie the fact that it's it's the it's Labradorite. And your mobile goes right with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> and it isn't even motorized. Uh, uh, the furniture here is is the fifties furniture. Uh, again, some some of this furniture was d designed and made by Deb and myself. These chairs right in front of me uh, are now 30, 35 years old and they're still functional. Deb did the upholstery and I did the carpentry. And amazingly enough, we can sit on them. Um, the, uh, they're even comfortable. They're even comfortable. The, uh, the fireplace is one of a kind designed by Bill Kessler. Um, it's very functional. Um, and fortunately he uh, allowed for a pit behind it so that ashes can be shoved right into a chute behind it. We don't have to painstakingly clean it. Uh, when we estimate that in 150 years we'll fill up the pit and then we'll be in trouble. <laughs> Don't uh, you use the ashes in the garden? No, we don't. You know, that's a very good idea. I never thought of doing that. That would be, yeah. They're very, yeah. very rich in nutrients, I think. Sure. Be My, kind of messy. Oh, yeah, a little bit. It does yeah. fly a little bit, but it works. <laughs> and you grow the orchids, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know how successful I am, but, but I enjoy having them around. And this little room here, that's your... Go ahead. Library. Yep, that's the library. Go ahead, Ruth. Which is such a cozy little room. It's a, a very comfortable room. Now, we're now into the fourth module of the house. We've been through the dining room module, the living room module, and the kitchen module. And this is a module that contains one bedroom, which my wife uses as an office and our library. Uh, the cabinets are all built in by, and designed by the architect. The Y pattern is again visible in, in the windows and on the walls. And as you can see, it's basically furnished with a great deal of folk art that my wife and I have collected on our travels. Uh, we also have a, a an old chair that's probably 75 years old that we like the contrast of modern furniture with an occasional antique. Uh, it's been battered and repaired and battered and repaired, but it's still functional. At, at, at that period, they uh, patented rockers. I don't know if yours is patented. It is. Really? There, there is a pat that. There was a, no little, a little pa uh, a tag on it that it, that was patented, yes. <laughs> we'll take a quick look in the bedroom. We won't go in there. We'll just see where it is. <laughs> okay, okay right. we're, coming, we're coming now into the hallway that uh, is, I guess, another module, is it not? No, um, the hallway is, well, it actually, just leads into... The hallway and the library and this, what used to be a bedroom, but is now a, a study. Um, 
is one whole module. And if you notice, there's the Y is repeated over here, over the staircase. And on the two walls. And on the walls. And uh, they had four children, did they? I think they had four sons. Um, I'm not too sure about that, but I believe, I know they had four children. And this was one of the bedrooms, which is now a study. So that would be two youngsters to a room then, with the three bedrooms? They had one four. bathroom, four uh, one bedroom downstairs for the... Yeah, I think uh, that was the original maid's room. Yeah. Yeah. Maid's room, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Those have become <laughs> sort of. Yeah, we don't do that anymore. And, uh, and let's take one look at this this bedroom here. It's, uh, Again, there. This is another very light room, and one wall is predominantly glass. Again, the Y motif and the angled ceilings are typical of the entire house. Uh, again, there's uh, modern furniture. A lot of folk art. A lot of folk art uh, and rugs that we have collected on our travels. Uh, but most of the art in this room is folk art. But it's a lot of fun that the modern has become an historic style. <laughs> really. Isn't that something? It's uh, kind of fun. It's, it's hard to get now. Uh, if, if you want a particular piece, you have to go really hunting for it. Well, I understand that Mr. Kessler is working on getting a revived modern. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know that. It will have modern revival. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your home with us and listing it as an historic place. It's, this is, we're, we're the only uh, community in, Oakland, in Michigan that has modern design, mid-century design, that is a uh, home. So we're very unique. We have two of these, and it's just wonderful that you share them with us. And it's an honor to be chosen. It's a very exciting experience uh, for us and for the house, too. Thank you so much. <laughs> Our pleasure. <laughs>